What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out why The Rock shouldn't be the one to beat Roman Reigns. This is a very, very interesting uh, video. Um, I, I've seen a few people feel like um, that The Rock shouldn't be the one to even challenge Roman Reigns at um, next year's WrestleMania. I've seen a few people say that he shouldn't be the one to beat Roman Reigns. I've seen a few people that feel differently that Rock should be the one to beat Roman Reigns. It's, there's been a lot of speculations ever since he came back on, you know, well, recently, um, not even recently, it was like a few months ago when he made that special appearance at SmackDown. A lot of speculations of will he be the one main eventing uh, WrestleMania against uh, Roman Reigns or will it be Cody Rhodes? And there's been that dialogue of if he should be the one to beat him or if Roman's going to beat him or, you know, just what's going to happen. So we're going to check this out. This should be a very interesting one. Uh, appreciate all love and support and let's get right into this one man if you want to see me beat this jabroni's ass give me a hell yeah is the rock really the right answer to dethroning roman reigns mm. by the time we reach wrestlemania 40 and let's be real nobody's dethroning the tribal chief until then he'll yeah. have touched 1315 days as the universal champion this means only hulk hogan Bob Backlin uh -huh. and Bruno San Martino will have had longer world championship reigns. And to do it in the modern era is even more insane. There seems to be a common line of thought among fans, yet again, that surely this time WWE will put an end to Roman Reigns' run as under. Yeah. We thought. Well, we're, th we're hopeful. We're hopeful that's the case, but I don't know. <laughs> Disputed Universal Champion. We've seen him walk in and walk out as champion in three WrestleMania main events in a row, something that's likely not going to happen in our lifetimes. Before the match against Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania 39 was made, there were long-standing rumors that WWE was planning a blockbuster match between Roman Reigns and his blood relative, The Rock. Mm -hmm. There's no disputing that this is the biggest money match that WWE could possibly- And I do think that's a, that's a main event worthy match. It, you know, I, I just wish it would have happened at last year's WrestleMania. I think that would have been the perfect, well, this year's WrestleMania would have been the perfect time to do it since it was in Hollywood. Um, and we've heard from The Rock himself that it was set in stone, but it didn't happen. Honestly, would I still be excited to see it if it happened at next year's WrestleMania? For sure. But the result will most likely be the same. The result would be the same. It doesn't make sense for The Rock to beat Roman at this point in his career. He's not really wrestling like that as much. And if you're going to do this match, it would make sense for Roman to be put over. Um, but I don't know, man. I, I just it's, It would be a, a blockbuster match for sure. And I think we would all be excited. But I do feel like at some point they need to find a way to get the title off of Roman. And um, we'll see how they plan that out. Possibly make in the modern era. It's been a decade now since The Rock has even wrestled a match, but he revealed to Pat McAfee that there were legitimate talks of a match at WrestleMania Hollywood. He said, quote, that was locked. We were doing it. Let me just tell you, in the beginning of 2022, Nick Khan, he was very instrumental in bringing Vince and I together. Flew to LA, broke out Terramana, business. Started talking the potential of the match. We shook hands and we hugged. Then we had a year. North Star was to do something unprecedented, end quote. He still went on to tease the possibility of it happening at WrestleMania 40 next year. And if WWE was able to make it happen, they will even at the expense of Cody Rhodes. Yeah. Remember 10 years ago when CM Punk complained that his deserved spot at main event WrestleMania was taken from him just so WWE could do a once in a lifetime yeah. part two? The Rock's response was simple and realistic. The match that draws the most money will be the headliner and 2 million and 348,000 pay-per-view buys later, it was clear why the match had to be run back. Yeah, and it's one of those things where it's like, I know some people are kind of off the Cody train and some people still want Cody to, you know, be the one to do it. But I can tell you this now, if it is actually on the card, like on the table to actually be done in next year's WrestleMania, which means it 
it's it's most likely going to happen if they have the opportunity to do it because that's the biggest match they could possibly put on. Well, there's a good chance Roman's not losing that title. Because I would just be surprised if he lost to The Rock. Very surprised. But, yeah. Cody is probably going to get sidelined because that's the biggest match they could put on. Um, and a match that's never happened before. So WWE is a business at the end of the day. And if they were so driven by the money that The Rock and John Cena could draw then, imagine now when there's a parent company looking to recoup as much of their investment as possible. Yeah. CM Punk was deserving of the WrestleMania main event. There's no doubt about it. Just like how Cody Rhodes is deserving of the WrestleMania 40 main event. The only difference is that you're unlikely to hear Cody be vocal about his frustrations yeah. the same way Punk was. It all comes down to the money and The Rock versus Roman Reigns mm -hmm. would drive fan interest up more than any other match could. Match. With that being said, there's an important question to ask. Does it make sense to have The Rock be the one to dethrone Roman Reigns? The answer is no. Mm -mm. From one perspective, you could argue that The Rock has direct ties to the bloodline, but on the other hand, everybody knows that he will only come for a one and done. Yeah. This means that we may just see a fourth WrestleMania in a row where Roman Reigns walks out as Universal Champion. And what does that mean? Likely another four months minimum before we see Roman getting dethroned. Yeah. It's not exactly unfair to think that the Bloodline story has fizzled out a bit this year. Mm -hmm. While it undoubtedly had its moments, things haven't been as exciting for the last few months, especially considering that Roman Reigns has hardly been around and Jimmy Uso has tried to get back into the Bloodline despite being the one who essentially broke it up. It's also still one of the weirdest conundrums i could possibly think of storytelling wise why that even happened still doesn't make sense but they're going with it <laughs> they they they've committed to this weird booking decision so not unfair to assume that the old story is on its last legs yeah at this point the mentality seems to be let's just see it through and fill the gaps as much as possible until WrestleMania comes around. That's it. There's no doubt that Cody Rhodes is the more deserving superstar and is being positioned to be the one to finally end the run of the Tribal Chief. But could there be an alternative where Roman Reigns pulls double duty at WrestleMania? This may have to involve the match against The Rock not being for the Undisputed Universal Championship, while the match against Cody Rhodes, presumably on night one, would be for the title. But this is an unlikely scenario, mm -hmm. and for good reason. Yeah. By presenting it like this, WWE is essentially giving out the result of the main uh -huh. event both nights, yeah. with Reigns likely losing to Cody on night one, and work. most likely defeating The Rock on night two. Doing work. so would also deprive Raw superstars of getting that main event slot on night one. So the situation is a bit more complicated than you think. But in short, the Rock should not be the one to dethrone Roman Reigns mm -hmm. for the simple reason that it will take away the opportunity to elevate another star and give them the biggest moment of their career. As of now, that star looks like it's gonna be Cody Rhodes, especially since WWE made sure to add Jey Uso into his story mm -hmm. to ensure a seamless and logical transition into the rematch against Roman Reigns early next year. We've seen it time and time again, with part-time stars taking full-time superstar spot, and those days seem to be coming to an end, slowly but surely. Do you think The Rock should be the one to dethrone Roman Reigns, or should Cody Rhodes be allowed to finish the story? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Very interesting video, and he makes some fair points. Um, I'm in the camp of, I want, I would love to see that match rock versus roman but it doesn't need the championship it don't um do i think he should be the one of these wrong roman no it needs to be someone that's gonna be on the show day in day out doesn't need to be anybody that's gonna be a part-timer it, it's it defeats the purpose it needs to be somebody that's on the show but they i think what they're doing is they're still positioning cody in that spot they're just trying to hold off time. But I think it's one of those. It's going to be an audible. If The Rock can, can 
can like for sure confirm, then they're probably gonna go with The Rock versus versus Roman and next year's WrestleMania. It's the biggest match you can possibly put on. But if it's not for certain, they still will be building up and teasing Cody, you know, trying to get his, you know, get his run back, get his lick back against Roman. So they're kind of playing both fields. If a rock can confirm, then we will we'll see more of that lining up and we may even hear from the rock more and that'll kind of confirm everything we need to know if we don't see that and they really start pushing cody more and start really bitching in him finishing the story then we can kind of tell that maybe the rock situation may not happen and you can still have the rock versus roman at next year's SummerSlam. that's a SummerSlam main event match for sure so if it doesn't happen at this year's wrestlemania you can have it at uh i mean next year's wrestlemania you can have it at next year's SummerSlam. so we'll see comment down below let me know do you guys feel like the uh, roman and uh the rock should happen at next year's wrestlemania or do y'all feel like it should be cody that means the main event rest uh, next year's wrestlemania with roman or do y'all feel like it should be somebody else main eventing next year's wrestlemania with roman let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support guys shout on channel road to 150k and i'm still getting speedy youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace